Famous for his position in the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising, Mordecai was born in Vyshkov, Poland in 1919, which is near Warsaw. Warsaw is in the picture. Mordecai was born into a poor Jewish working class family. While he was in secondary school, he joined the Zionist movement, which is a movement to make Palestine a Jewish state. In 1939, as part of the Zionist movement, he helped slash attempted young Jews to cross the Romanian border to create a new route for them going to Palestine. Because of his participation for this, he was put into Soviet jail. On his way back from Soviet jail, Mordecai walked through many ghettos, such as this one, which inspired him to want to fight back against oppression. By 1940, he was a full-time underground activist. At this time, he dedicated himself to promoting self-defense and took time to ed for education. In the summer of 1942, Mordecai left Warsaw for a short time, and when he returned, he was startled to find out that the Germans had started a mass deportation. 60,000 out of the original 350,000 Jewish people in Warsaw were left. At this point, Mordecai decided enough was enough, and he revived an old organization known as the Jewish Combat Organization to fight back. On January 18, 1943, the Germans started a second mass deportation. This took Mordecai's organization by surprise, and he commanded a street battle. There were many casualties. Many died, but Mordecai survived. The Germans stopped the attack to prevent further conflict. The second part of the uprising started in April 19, 1943. The Jews had the upper hand this time, and fighting was three days long. Germans suffered heavy losses. For this part of the uprising, Mordecai was fighting on the front lines with his people. But then the Germans retaliated with more men, and they proceeded to burn down the Warsaw Ghetto, block by block. Unfortunately, on May 1943, Mordecai and most of the main group were killed in a bunker, which is memorialized here in Warsaw, Poland. Mordecai took many risks and he provided hope to the Jewish people and showed them that they could stand up. Mordecai risked his life for these things to happen. If he had been caught, he would have probably been sent to a death camp or just shot right then and there. Mordecai never got to see the end of the war, but he acted as a beacon of hope for the Jewish people. He's also memorialized in Israel. This is a statue of him. He will never be forgotten. This is a statue in Warsaw, Poland. He is the one in the middle with the hand grenade. Mordecai, a martyr, did a great deed and became a beacon of light and hope for the Jewish community.